There is nothing more exciting than finding out you have something to make a video on as a creator, while also realizing said character is going to be one everyone will receive for free. What up, Soshi here. Now is a good time to talk about the upcoming character that is going to be a valuable addition to the path of Harmony. We understand that the Harmony roster consists of characters that buffs your team's capabilities in various different ways. They also allow your DPS to do much more damage in the various utilities they provide. With another Harmony character on the way in a couple of days at the time of recording this, we will have another option in this path of characters. Now I could go on and on about Bronya as I do in every single video. This is one of the best characters and my personal favorite character. I think the value she provides as a buffer, a cleanser, and a honestly a very strong character in the sense of being able to give your ally CR and then giving your team attack and crit damage is very valuable because of the comp I currently use. So this is a comp I've been using for quite a while now and I think it's really good because you have Seal who is going to be your main hyper carry damage dealer. You have Branya who is going to buff Seal and everyone else on the team because of the buff she provides in the sense of the attack and crit damage with the ult and then being able to cleanse the debuff from Seal if she gets debuffed of course stunned and eat all of the above and then being able to push up the CR. And we honestly know how strong the Seal Branya duo is, so I don't really have to go into it into detail. But having Clara as the pseudo tank damage dealer, which is going to have the highest taunt value in the comp, which allows the Clara to take most of the hits here. And then once I actually do build up my March 7th, I will replace the Bailu in place of this character to have a much better team comp overall, because we understand that these two characters are really good with not one another, these two characters are also really good with one another. So you have two teams and one team essentially that all work with one another because, well, March 7 has a cleansing effect. Branya also has a cleansing effect. And then all these characters buff each other in some way, shape, or form. And yeah, I can go on and on and on about Branya because, well, she's just simply baby girl. She is that character that I absolutely adore. And I use her whenever I have the opportunity to do so. But this is not a video dedicated to her. This is a video for the Path of Harmony and the upcoming Harmony character. Asta, one of the other Harmony characters, the first character you get in the game, which is one for free at that, she's a very valuable four-star character. She unlocks the door to much more team comps. Allowing your team to have more speed is very nice. Giving your team more attack is really good also while being able to be a eccentric damage buffer for the fire element as a whole, which makes her a very valuable and very strong four-star character. However, we do also understand that her role in the team comps, you would probably use her in most of the time as a in the hyper carry team comps we used to say. For example, let me explain. This is one of the teams I used for a very long time until I ended up using Clara in the slot of Asta. But we all understand that this team is essentially the hyper carry team. You have Seal, who is going to be your main damage dealer, your only damage dealer at that. You have Asta, who is going to buff Seal while also buff buffing the rest of the team with the speed buff she provides. We have Branya, who is going to buff Seal mostly, just her alone, really. Uh, she does give attack and crit damage, which you can out allow Asta to do more damage, but you're not really looking for Branya to buff Asta, just Seal, right? And then Bailu, who is going to be the healer character, the defensive option in said team comp. But Asta is a character that pretty much complements the hyper carry playstyle, and we all understand that. But what if I told you there is going to be another character that you can use in place of this character in the form of the hyper carry team comp in certain variations? You see, a character like Ting Yun has really shown her value over time. She's a very strong four star character. That's part of the reasons why she got some nerfs before the game release. And I do understand in the past, I did say this was going to be one of the strongest characters, stronger than Branya in situations. And I do stand by that. I think she is able to provide a lot more value in certain situations with the energy she provides with her ultimate, while also giving a damage buff at that, giving the ally more speed if you don't have access to, let's say, Branya's. Eidolon 2 that synergizes very well with your DPS characters. Now, when you have a team like this, this is essentially a much more, I would say, meta like hyper carry team where you're really trying to essentially get Seal to do all the damage. I mean, you have Ting Yun to give the energy to Seal to funnel towards her ult so that Seal can use her ult much more often while giving damage buffs and a speed buff to the character. 
that wants to constantly go, 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 right? So she's only going to give the speed buff to Seal, while Asta gives the speed buff to everyone on the team. But what if I told you in this team comp, the upcoming Harmony character is essentially going to allow you to replace Branya or maybe use that character in the place of Branya if you don't have said character? Let me explain. With Yukong being the four star character upcoming on the banner of Luwacha, you will find a lot more value in the character because not only is she a harmony buffer for your team comps, but she's also going to be a very valuable imaginary element based character. So you're able to abuse the weakness break effect of the imaginary element, which is going to be speed reduction on the enemy while also delaying their action. And for a character that is constantly moving a lot more frequently than other characters in the game because of her base speed and the fact that she can buff speed as well, you will find a lot more value in this character in your team comps with your other DPS characters. Maybe you like the hyper carry team comp. Maybe you like the team comp with Jing Yuan. You will find a lot of value using this character. Now, we do understand a couple of things about Yukon. First of all, she's going to essentially be a very nice Bronya replacement or a, yeah, a very nice Bronya replacement if you don't already have Bronya. Or she's going to be a very nice character that you might find value or more value in in the team comp with Branya, if you essentially have A, Branya's E1, B, you also have Branya's light code, and then C, you also maybe have an additional light code from Branya that you can use on Yukong, and then D, the option D would be like you have the Eidolon 6 of this character, which allows you to be less skill point heavy of a harmony character, if that makes sense. Because you know Asta kind of uses a lot of skill points if you don't have her maxed out in constellations. And you're using her against enemies that are not weak to fire just because of how the character works. With that being said, Yukong is going to be a very valuable harmony character because not only is she going to buff the hyper carry team comps, but she's going to be very good for a character like Seal because we understand how Seal works. Or let me explain to you how she works. So Seal is a very special case of a character. You don't necessarily get an additional turn, but you get an additional turn. Huh? Let me explain that a little bit more so the way that seals resurgence works is whenever you kill an enemy you get an additional turn but the buffs you had from the last turn are carried over to this turn because of how the passive of this character works i think she's going to be a special case when it comes to getting additional turns maybe other characters will be the same going forward but we'll have to wait and see so whenever you use a light cone like this one, you give additional damage to the ally you buff up. In this case, it's going to be Seal. So you keep the damage buff from the light cone. You keep the buff from Branya's elemental skill while having all that in your additional turn. And let's say you enter the buff state or you already have it because you got the additional turn. You will deal more damage because you kept all the buffs you had from your previous turn, if that makes sense. And the reason why this is going to be very valuable, if we understand how the additional turn works, and the synergy behind that with Seal, we understand how she's going to work with, you know, Yukong and the value Yukong will be providing for this character and other hyper carry characters going forward. So you're going to find the synergy with Yukong and Seal nice. I think Yukong will be really good with a character like Jing Yuan as well, depending on the speed of your Jing Yuan and all that jazz and the Lightning Lord and the, you know, the composition and how that works. But only time will tell the value she provides for Jing Yuan. But she's going to be a very nice character to use with your seal. And I probably will be testing her out with my seal as well because the crit rate, crit damage, and the attack buff she provides is going to be very nice. While also seal not necessarily draining all of the stacks from Yukon's elemental skill and how the character works. But again, when this character releases, we'll make a much more in depth video and, and kind of show a little bit of what I'm trying to explain here, show some work essentially. I honestly can't believe that Yukong was a character that kind of went under the radar for me. I had no idea that she was going to be releasing on the same banner with Luancha, and I really do feel like an idiot right now. But there you have it. I think Yukong is shaping up to be the best Harmony 4-star character we have in the game currently, or we're going to have in the game. Being able to give a crit rate, crit damage, and an attack buff to your allies is going to be very valuable. It's going to make the hyper carry characters you probably already use a lot more enjoyable to use because you will consistently do more damage. The crit rate allows you to crit more often. The higher crit damage allows you to take advantage of the higher crit rate and do additional damage. And the attack increase is always valuable because the more attack you do, the more damage your attacks do as well. I stream 
twitch.tv slash Toshio. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.